what's going on guys it's your boy carnage mitch or your boy mitch what do you guys want to call me and today what i have for you is actually a class setup and stats video because i know a lot of you may or may not want to actually see something like this you guys want to see what guns i use the setups to use and all other stuff and then again stats and stuff like that and my stats overall are really not that good because i do play solo a lot of the time and i just started running support for a lot of my friends and carnage and stuff like that so they're kind of going up they're kind of not so we're gonna get right into this now we're gonna go right into the class setups now this is my razorback class setup that i use for core um it's pretty decent actually um, i always run extended mag fast mags and then also grip because this thing absolutely has no recoil once you put grip on it and this is just for core guys remember that not hardcore um, I also run ELO on it because I don't really like the iron sights on this because you know it's just kind of weird looking and C4 flak jacket scavenger and tack masks all really good to use especially the flak jacket when you play a lot of nuketown because all the nades always generally generally go towards B flag and you guys want to watch out for that also tack mask because everyone throws stuns on B everybody knows that scavenger obviously because you run out of ammo quick sometimes when you're running in the spawns and stuff like that so always run scavenger now for my VMP class, it's mainly the same thing, uh, but I do run fast mags and grip only on this. I don't run extended mags. Um, I don't really know why though, but I mean, I feel like I could probably put extended mag on there, but um, for now, all I really use is fast mags and grip. Helps me a lot. I actually pull out against a lot of try arts and stuff like that. Now, also, I do run C4 and concussion. Um, this is main. I don't really spawn trap with this class. I mainly just um, I mainly just play with this gun when I'm playing solo or something like that. Not as much as when I'm running spawns. Now, also, I would also say run flak jacket and overclock because you do get your specialist a hell of a lot faster, and it helps out so much once you get that purifier. Your your kinetic armor, pretty much one of my favorite um um specialists to use is the kinetic armor and definitely the purifier, especially purifier when you're running spawns in core, and also scavenger and tack mask. I don't need to explain that again. ICR. I actually did just start using this gun. Um, this is I would definitely recommend actually running. Um, extended mags or fast mags on this as well not as much rapid fire probably long barrel and grip probably a really good setup to use so remember that um, for the ICR long barrel fast mags and grip okay guys remember that now also C4 flag jacket all the other same perks pretty good to use now this is my Kuda this is probably my favorite class to use actually because it does have afterburn on it and you get do get your boost back a lot faster and it just helps out so much when you're trying to get out of um, tricky situations just jump shot people and just get out of their line of view and stuff like that it helps out a lot but then again rapid fire extended makes and fast makes now a really good setup to use for that is it, it's definitely key that i think the extended makes and the fast makes is what really makes this gun um able to kill a lot of people in a short amount of time now also same classes or same perk sorry um scavengers tag math blah 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 all that other stuff now for my weevil um yeah weevil overclock and i don't i don't know why i don't have um flak um flak jacket on this i believe this is only when i play like on other maps like if i'm playing on anything other than nuketown i would definitely recommend running flak jacket though but for this one i do have overclock afterburner scavenger and tack mask as well as fast makes rapid fire and grip grip is definitely really good and you don't really need extended makes on this gun because it does have a really large clip and i believe it only actually has 70 bolts in it when you put extended mag on it but i like to reload fast and an extended mag kind of um drags that time down now i don't really use this class too much i used to use this class so much i dropped so many hundred pluses with this class actually the dingo Excuse me, but I do use extended mag, fast mags, and grip, as well as flak jacket, overclock, um, scavenger, and tack mask. Now, people are probably going to ask, why are you running scavenger with the LMG? It has so much ammo in it, but to be honest, dude, you're going to need it, especially especially with the dingo, because it does have a really fast fire rate, and you do run out of ammo really fast in this thing sometimes. It seems like, I mean, you probably get maybe like 10 or 20 kills before you, or 15 kills, sorry, before you even have to like go and pick up more ammo but so that's a pretty decent lmg to use really good lmg probably one of the best in the game i wouldn't really recommend using the rb on um, brm sorry i don't really like that gun too much um personally someone else might think it's better but me i don't really enjoy, i don't really like the brm now this is my man of war class this is actually one of my favorite classes to use when i go up against tryhards and stuff like that i always run elo fast makes and grip really good setup to use as well as c4 Flag jacket, afterburner, scavenger, and tack mask. All the same perks again, like I said. Um, yeah, but yeah, that's my Man of War class. And this is my Brecky class. I, I use this a lot. Sometimes to like when kids use shotguns and stuff like that. I hate it when people use shotguns. I just don't know why. Shotguns are so cheap and they're so easy to get kills with. So what I 
and, and plus this gun, it says it right there, reliable two-shot kill, which is ridiculous. And this gun fires so fast. So actually, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take C4 and, and that off that, and then I'm going to put rapid fire on. This is probably the most godly setup you could probably have with a brekkie. So fast makes, long barrel, and rapid fire. Really good class setup to use. And once again, flag jacket, afterburner, scavenger, and tack mask. Now, this is my MX Grand and Marshall class. I don't really use this too much anymore since I got the HG40, all my new guns and stuff like that. And um, basically, I usually use this sometimes when, um, you know, I just want to mess around and stuff like that. But definitely, I run um, extended mag and high cal on this. Um, I don't really run fast mags, even though it does reload really fast once you do that. But yeah, definitely, I definitely run ELO, extended mag, and high caliber. Maybe um, extended mag if you need it. Or, or fast mag, sorry. And then this is my Marshall. Um, I always run dual on this. Seriously OP. Probably the most OP shotgun, like shotgun or pistol, I should say, in this game. Super OP. Like it's almost reliable, like one shot. I would say it has an amazing range. It's like it has like the range, I guess you could say, of like the haymaker. I guess you'd say like for hit marker range, it definitely has the range of a haymaker. And it's like honestly, once you you can two shot them from any from any range, you can get a hit marker at, which is amazing. Don't really know why I run tomahawk. Flak jacket, scavenger, and tag mask once again. And then this is actually for a team challenge we were doing for Carnage. I'm actually gonna make you guys a class right here. Um, for the HD40, this is probably my favorite gun to use right now. HD40, I don't know why, but once you guys get it, you guys are definitely gonna need rapid fire. And let me explain why. Because this gun, if you look at the fire rate, like look at the fire rate without without um rapid fire, and just look at that. Like it's it's honestly not very high, and either is the damage. You kind of and since it's since the damage and fire rate are very low, it's very hard to get a consistent three shot kill or be able to kill people from close range or melt them. I guess you could say because this gun is super weak. I feel like this gun was very unfinished, and I believe it needs a buff. So I definitely run rapid fire, extended mags, and fast mags. Maybe a grip in place of extended mag because extended mags. I mean, because grip. You know, this gun honestly kicks a lot, and a lot. Like it likes to go sideways a lot when you do shooting. It's really annoying. So I would definitely run grip probably when I if I'm doing that. Now also once again flak jacket, probably after burner so you can get out of those tricky situations. Scavenger and then also let's see tag mass once again and then honestly I'd C4 or something like that. You guys can put whatever you want on there um for tacticals and lethals. But this is just my class setup. I would run rapid fire, extended makes, maybe grip and fast makes. Okay, so that's my class setup right there. Now we're gonna move on to hardcore class setup. This is I don't have many of these, but this is my hardcore class setup. I intend to do this when I run support for people. It's actually a really good thing um really good class setups to use. Now I do run ELO, fast makes and quick draw. You definitely need quick draw in hardcore. And let me explain why. Because you do need to get that first shot off. If you don't get that first shot off, you're honestly probably going to end up dead really fast. Because it's hardcore, you get one shot killed so much, and you just need to get that. But you just need to get your gun up as fast as you can. And then also fast hands, you could do aim faster after sprinting, and you really need that in hardcore. Like I said, because honestly, one shot on you and you're on, you're just dead. And then I do run ghost on this. I don't run flak jacket because not many people use nades in hardcore. Due to the fact that if you kill one of your teammates, then you do get kicked, or three of your teammates, and then scavenger, attack mask, all that stuff, C4, just to help run spawns. I don't really use this class too much in, um, I honestly don't use this class too much in hardcore, but, um, yeah, I don't, I really don't use this that much, but uh, then again, I do run fast mags and rapid fire on this. One, because rapid fire, you, like, you shoot a lot faster, obviously, and it gets you more shots. Since it gets you more shots off, you have a higher chance of actually hitting that person. And this gun one shots a lot, so Weevil is actually pretty good for hardcore. Once again, Ghost, Fast Hand, Scavenger, and Awareness actually is new. Now, Awareness, honestly is pretty OP. I believe Nade Shot actually made a video about this and I put it on, I tried it out one time and I actually got a nuclear with it. So awareness is definitely a really good perk to use for your third perk. Um, because you can hear people basically anywhere. Um, actually, I shouldn't say that because a lot of people who don't have headsets don't really run uh, it's not really worth it to run awareness because you can't really tell where they are coming from and you know it's just you know it's just not really good for um it's not it's just not good for um people who don't have headsets. Now this is my CUDA class setup. I don't use this too much, but then again, it is a, this is a really good class setup to use um, for hardcore, rapid fire, fast makes, and grip. Grip is definitely needed, I would guess you could say. Or you could put quick draw on there. Quick draw would definitely help um, a lot because you do need, like I said, you guys need to get that first shot off. But same perks, awareness, all our stuff. 
And this is my HD Ford. I don't use this too much in hardcore, but definitely you guys see that I do have grip. And once I get rapid fire and fast mags, I will definitely put that on this gun because I do want to kind of get another nuclear with this. Probably a really fast one, maybe under one minute or two minutes. I would really like to get one of those and with this gun and hopefully I can get that for you guys soon. But once again, C4, flag jacket, scavenger, fast hands and awareness. And then for the VMP, this class I use a lot in hardcore. Very good gun to use. I would probably put rapid fire on it, but this is my class setup I have for it is fast mags, grip, flak jacket, fast hands, scavenger, and awareness, and then also a C4 just to help out a little bit in case they flip on us and I need to throw a C4 in order to take out a lot of them at once. And that's my VMP class setup. And then Brecky, this gun is a monster in hardcore, guys. Like, you guys have no idea. Fast makes long barrel. That is all you need, guys. That long barrel helps out so much. You just honestly map them and just gonna one shots almost at any range, guys. It's ridiculous. So once again, I do run C4 and concussion. Um, flak jacket, fast hand scavenger, and awareness. Once again, this gun, like I said, is a freaking monster, guys. So I definitely recommend using that. I don't use this too much. Haymaker, not very that, not really that good in hardcore. I believe I would need a long barrel on it. So I'm actually going to put that on right now. Long barrel is definitely needed on this gun because this gun does not have a very high range. Like, let's look at the stats on this. Yeah, range is very low on this gun. So I would definitely recommend running um, long barrel on this. Really good gun to use. Like I said, same class or same perks to all that other stuff. Oh, whoops. And then that's about it for the hardcore. I don't have that many class levels for that, but we're going to head right into stats now. I am level, okay, well, I am level 444, and my stats are actually going up. We're almost at 90k kills, guys. That is insane. Um, 1,577 wins, over 10 million score, 10.5 million, actually, uh, 1.75 KD, which is going up, 1.81 1 win loss, which actually went down because we're trying to do team challenges, and it's just insanely hard. You guys are going to be excited for this next one that we probably have coming up. Now, also, score per minute is a 501. It actually went up a lot since last time. I believe I was stuck at, like, a 492. And since I have, like, 870,000 kills and so much playing time, it's so hard to get your score per minute up when you have a lot of game time played. Now, we're going to head right into career leaderboards. I am ranked 2,867 in the world on the career leaderboards. And keep in mind, these career leaderboards are a little bit outdated because, see, guys, as you can see right there, my score is only at 10, 10,135,000. And if you guys look right here, it's at 10,540,000. So they do have to update these. I believe um, they do it like, I, I don't know. I think they have it as a little bit let on back so that all the leaderboards don't get all messed up or something like that. I don't know what they're doing, but it's helping out. I mean, I mean but it's not really accurate. Sorry. And like I said, look at that. A five, it says 496 score per minute. So these things are pretty outdated. So they do need to fix that. But that's about it for that. Um, I don't really play too much hardcore, but that's my leaderboards for that. Not too good at all. I don't play too much of hardcore unless I'm playing with friends and stuff like that. But that's about it for that. But hopefully you guys did enjoy. I'm actually going to show you my guys my nuclears because I know a lot of you guys want to see how many I have. I have 14 nuclears and 79 unstoppables. And that's about it for this video, guys. But if you guys did enjoy, remember to drop a like and subscribe. All the other cool stuff. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.